Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a 2003 Chevy 2500 Duramax. Um, it is a crew cab short bed truck. It is going to be pewter in color. Kind of walk here on this truck. It's got the factory wheels on it. That are in really nice shape. Good, good tread on the tires. We undercoated this truck like we do almost all of our trucks for long-term durability. It's got a spray-in over the cap liner that is in good shape overall. It's got a little bit of dirt on it from the snow, but it cleans up really nice. I'll show you back here as well. You can see frames. Nice and black, we do a really great job of undercoating. It's got great tires all the way around. The wheels are all in really nice shape. It has a couple of things done to it here. It's got a front and a rear bumper. Um, this rear bumper is really pretty big, very uh, sturdy industrial bumper. You can see two big tow hooks, rings for the trailer. It's got a hitch. The truck's ready to be put to work. Show you around on the inside here. It's an LT. So it's got the gray leather seats. These flip up. And these seats fold down, so it a, has a fold flat. This has a pretty rare option of the um, DVD player back here. You do not see these in very many trucks. It was a uh, option not a lot of people went with back in uh, when these were ordered new. So it's got the uh, heated seats, power windows, power locks. It's got the factory mats in it. Seats are in you know good shape. This one's got a little bit of rub through here. It's got the normal cracking power. You saw on the front, it's got a kind of a ranch hand slash. Um, I would say like an aftermarket bumper with a built-in range hand. Very sturdy, very big, very uh, very ready to push some stuff out of the way. Um, I'll show you around to the driver's side here. So it's got mirrors, windows, locks, heated seats, memory, four-wheel drive. So I'll show you some stuff on the inside while I'm in here. But first, we'll pop over to the mileage. Well, I'll pull that up here in a second. So this right here, I'll shut it off and you might be able to see it. It's actually missing the cover on it. Everything still functions 100%, it's just missing that clear cover right there. Um, Flip back over to the odometer. Truck has 70,043 original miles. I'll start it back up, or I'll start it up, I guess. Everything kicks on, mirror kicks on, that kicks on. You turn this, there it goes. You turn that on. So it turns on and everything, and everything works. It's just missing that little cover. It's got a little bit of, maybe something was taped up here. And over here, I don't know what they did, but they rubbed this a lot, it looks like. It's been rubbed through in a couple little places. All the steering wheel controls, though, are in fantastic shape. The truck comes with a brake controller. Um, all of these knobs and everything are in great shape. It's just missing that screen there. I'll kind of take you out and let you listen to it. good tone to it. Walk you around and flip around here. So 
So once again, 70,043 original miles. So um, I'm gonna walk you around some of the imperfections now. I showed you this, I'll show you it from me standing up. The seat has, let me focus it, a couple of tears here, it's been rubbed through. The foam's still in good shape. Um, this, once again, has cracking. It's super common on these trucks. Um, walk around the outside here. The exterior has some rock chips just all the way around the truck. Um, little scratches and stuff. Rock chip here and there. Um, nothing like super major. You can see this flare has some chipping and scratches on it. Um, these, super typical on these, these top sides fade off. We left them on because they're actually in really good shape. Um, just the top halves have been faded out a little bit. You can see it hasn't quite faded all the way right here. Um, and then there's something over here. The hood has a couple rock chips as well. This has a couple rock chips and I don't know if it's been maybe uh, rubbed against something very lightly. Um, this looks like a big rock chip, but these all don't feel like rock chips. And then the driver's door, and it's just the driver's door. I'm gonna make sure I get you up there has right here, the paint has failed on it. Clear has, but it's just the driver's door. All the other doors, all the rest of the truck is fine. I'll show you the top. It's a little dirty from being in the snow, but the whole top is 100% fine. Whole top looks good. It is literally just the driver's door that has done it. So you can kind of see it right there. But if you're interested in this truck or any other trucks you may see on this channel, um, feel free to reach out to us at 720-4995 or check us out on any of our social medias at Enterprise Motorsports.